Texas was still a republic and had just defeated Santa Ana, Sam Houston thought there might be another attack by the Mexican army, so he set up 30 or 40 military outposts from Houston to Brownsville. The remains of only one of those has been found, and Jamie O'Rourke says it was located down in Hungerford by rancher and amateur archaeologist J.D. Hudson. I was uh, out here looking at an Indian site, and I'd been going in a roundabout way because the field was muddy and I couldn't get across the field. Mm -hmm. And about the third time I was out here, I could see that the field had dried up a little bit, so I cut across and stumbled on the artifacts that were laying on the surface. Mm -hmm. There were bits of very old pottery and pieces of flintlock muskets. What Hudson stumbled on was this two-acre, now overgrown area. You may just see a bunch of weeds here, but when Hudson looks at this, what he sees are some tents and an arsenal of musket and cannon that used to be here about 150 years ago. Yes, it was a small outpost during the uh, Texas Army days in uh, 1836 to 1839. And it was manned by about 10 men. This was the main uh, artist depot of the Texas Army at that time. There were 650 muskets and several cannons stored here for about a year and a half. That was a lot in those days, wasn't it? That was just about all of the equipment of the Texas Army. You might wonder why the outpost was in this particular wilderness spot way back when. The answer lies beyond a barrier of thick brush. This body of water here is a spring, and it's, uh, it runs all year long. It's a, a steady source of water, as where the Bernard is not. So Joe Hudgens has found trigger guards, pliers, wrenches, and tongs. There was even a brass thimble and copper shots, like what was used to break Sam Houston's leg. The pottery is shattered. Maybe some can be reassembled. The metal pieces are to be cleaned up by professionals, and then everything goes to the Wharton County Historical Museum. As for where Joe Hudgens will go, He's been excavating on an amateur basis ever since he found his first arrowhead as a kid. He'll likely keep that up. Jamie O'Rourke, Eyewitness News, Hungerford. John Davenport will be along with a story.